Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a hexadecagon or 16-sided regular polygon inscribed in a circle. So to start off, you can see a circle here in the screen. And the first thing we are going to do is to draw a vertical diameter. Getting two points, which we will call 1 and 9 on the circumference. And now, using the set square with the built-in protractor, you can draw the horizontal diameter going through the origin O, getting two new points on the circumference, which we will call 5 and 13, as can be seen here. The next step is to join these four vertices from 5 to 1, 5 to 9, 9 to 13, and 13 to 1 in a blue line, as can be seen. So to continue, we're going to get the perpendicular bisector of the two top sides of this square. So setting the compass to the length of the radius here, it doesn't really matter, it can be any uh, length greater than the half the length of the side. We scribe an arc to the left, and now setting the compass on vertex one, we scribe another arc intersecting our previously drawn arc. And we only have to do it on one side because we're going to join it to the center point O. And again, setting the compass on one, we scribe an arc to the left, as can be seen here. And finally, setting our compass on 13, we scribe another arc intersecting our previously drawn arc to get the perpendicular bisector of the line segment 113. And now we're going to join the intersection of the arc through the origin zero and elongate it to the other side of the circumference, getting two new vertices, which we will call three and 11. And we're going to do the same on the other side, joining the intersection through the origin O and elongating it to the other side of the circumference getting another two vertices, 15 and 7. And now the next step is to join these vertices, 1 to 3, 3 to 5, in a red line, 5 to 7, 7 to 9, obtaining an octagon, or an eight-sided regular polygon inscribed in the circle. And now to get the hexadecagon, we're going to divide this octagon into another eight parts. So to do this, we're going to work out the perpendicular bisector of the top four sides of the octagon. So setting the compass on 0.5 and with a radius slightly longer than uh, half the length of the side of the octagon, we scribe an arc to the left, as can be seen here. And now, Setting the compass on point three and with the same radius, we scribe another arc intersecting our previously drawn arc. We're going to do this again with the line segment three one, so with the same radius. Setting the compass on three, we scribe an arc, and on one, we scribe another arc. And now we do repeat this process with line segment one fifteen and line segment fifteen thirteen. And now we're going to join the intersections of these arcs with the origin O and elongate it to get two more points on the vertices, two more vertices on the circumference of the circle, as can be seen here. And we do this again with the four intersections. So we're going to get eight new points. This is with the third one getting two new points and finally joining the intersection through the origin O and elongating it to the other side. Now we're going to name these eight new vertices as can be seen here. So now we have our 16 divisions of the circumference. So finally with a thicker line we're going to join vertices 1 to 2, vertex 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and so on to obtain our hexadecagon or 16-sided regular pentagon.
So we continue joining the vertices with a thicker line, as can be seen here. So now you have our hexadecagon, our 16-sided regular polygon. So I hope you liked the video. Please press like or subscribe to our, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Until the next video.